Just a few minutes ago, we had quite the conversation. We were had a chance to listen to the story of Dr. Brett Reese, a heart surgeon who survived a heart attack. Well, this is an opportunity now to uh, meet the uh, doctor who, in fact, went about saving him. Yes, Dr. Camilla is joining us now. We heard him mention, get Dr. Messenger, and he's the guy. <laughs> Send the message for Messenger. <laughs> there you go. Dr. Messenger is a cardiologist at the University of Colorado and also serves as the director of the Cardiac Cath Lab at UC Health. Um, and he happens to be a good buddy of Dr. Reese as well. So he was in early that day along with his cath lab team and acted quickly when he had learned that right. Dr. Dr. Reese was in the emergency department um, to help save his friend's life. So Dr. Messenger, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for so having me. Tell me a little bit about what happened that Well, day. it was an interesting day. I got to the hospital early that morning and got a phone call and the ER attending who uh, I knew well said, hey, you know, one of our, our own is down here in the ER and I think he's having a heart attack, but his EKGs look normal, but he really doesn't look well. So went ahead and promptly ran down there. It was one of those days where all the planets were aligned. We, you know, had the team in, we had everybody ready to go, and it was perfect timing. By the time I got down there, it was clearly evident that, you know, he was having a big front wall heart attack that are the big ones, and we were able to get him up into the cath lab and get the blood vessel opened within a matter of about 35 or 40 minutes, which is great. And we actually have Brett's um, coronary or angiogram as well oh, here. So um, we're gonna have you kind of walk us through what this is. So sure, you can so start here on the left. Yeah, so this is a picture and the, the, the catheter is engaged in the coronary artery and we're injecting dye and the front artery is supposed to continue all the way down and it is totally occluded. Uh, there. It's a little bit difficult to see, but um, basically this is typical of heart attacks. It's a total occlusion, uh, mm -hmm. meaning a blockage mostly of blood clot and platelets. So the goals of treatment are to try to get a wire beyond this blockage and open it up as we'll see in the next few videos. Yeah, so you can see in that next video here, yeah, there's here, that balloon, Exactly. Right? So yeah. here's the balloon between the two markers. We have a wire across, and usually these are very short blockages, and once you go ahead and open these blockages, um, you can restore normal blood flow, and the symptoms usually resolve uh, in really quite quickly within a matter of five to ten minutes, wow. particularly in people who come in early like, like uh, Dr. Reese did. And this is actually where you can see. Exactly. Right, now moment. you see this huge vessel. This is a, the front artery supplies the whole front wall and the middle wall. And that's why it's so critical to get it open. We were able to get it open and restore normal blood flow uh, very quickly, which is great. And it also helps protect uh, muscle damage and, and preserve the heart function down the road. Well, and I think that's one of the most important pieces to this, right? So we always say that time is heart muscle. Right. And so the sooner you can get to the emergency department, the sooner you can get to the cath lab, and the sooner you can get that vessel open, the more muscle you can save. Totally true, and that's why recognizing these symptoms early and, and really seeking you know, uh, evaluation, uh, Brett came over right from a faculty meeting because he knew he was feeling terrible, didn't quite know how to describe it, but folks that recognize it early and, and really get evaluated quickly can really have no long-term damage. In his case, his heart muscle function is completely normal as a result of early recognition and activation of the uh, EMS system. And I think those are the take home points right there. So it's early recognition. So mm -hmm. as soon as you have symptoms, call 911, mm -hmm. get to the emergency mm -hmm. department, and then you can hopefully yeah. come in and help save that day. Yeah, so, yeah. well, thank you so much. And thank you for everything that you're doing to help save not just Dr. Reese's life, but everybody else's as well.